Your first Beat the Heat challenge will test your skill at navigating turns three and four at the World Center of Racing, Daytona International Speedway. You won't have any traffic to contend with, but you'll need to drive at Winston Cup speed in order to beat the heat. Let's take a look at what it'll take to master this first challenge. For the bronze trophy, you'll need to beat 20.5 seconds. For the silver, 19.8 seconds. A gold trophy will require a 19.5. We'll be starting at full speed heading into turn three at Daytona. Good luck. We'll crank up the heat a bit for your next challenge. You'll be running at NASCAR's fastest track, Talladega Super Speedway, where you'll have to master not only turns three and four, but also the tri-oval and then across the finish line. Let's take a look at what it'll take to beat this challenge. For the bronze trophy, you'll need to beat 31.0 seconds. 30.5 will earn the silver. Going for the gold will require a blazing 30 flat. Your car will be at full speed all alone heading into turn three. Good luck. Now it's time to see how you do in traffic. It's the final lap of the Die Hard 500 at Talladega, and you've got three cars ahead of you. Let's see what it'll take to beat the heat. For the bronze, you'll need to pass one car and come in third. Passing two cars to come in second will bring home the silver, but to get the gold, you'll need to pass all three cars and win the one-lap race. You'll be starting at race speed, crossing the start-finish line. Good luck. It's time to experience hotter racing conditions as we drop you into the final three laps of the Pepsi 400 for this next Beat the Heat Challenge. You'll find yourself running in fourth place on lap 158 of the 160 that make up the race. To capture the bronze, you'll need to finish in the top three. Finishing second will deliver the silver. Winning the race will also win the gold. And to make things interesting, you'll have some drafting help. Your teammate Bobby Labonte will be right in front of you. He's a couple of laps down, but if you use him as a drafting partner, you'll have a better chance of taking home a trophy. You'll be starting at race speed, roaring down the backstretch behind Dale Jarrett, Mark Martin, Ward Burton, and Bobby Labonte. Good luck. At Winston Cup speeds, dividing the wind resistance over two or more cars in a draft makes each of them go faster than they could all by themselves. And to master this challenge, you'll need to work the draft. The scene is once again Talladega Super Speedway. There are three laps left in the Die Hard 500, and you are in fourth place. To capture the bronze, you'll need to come in third. Finishing second will deliver the silver. Winning the race will also win the gold. You'll be starting at race speed as you cross the start-finish line going into lap 186. Stay right in the tire tracks of the cars ahead of you, and you should be able to draft your way to a trophy. Good luck! Congratulations, you've reached the final Beat the Heat Challenge in the Super Speedway set. And it's the first of our high-octane challenges, special scenarios set up for you by NASCAR's hottest stars. Our first high-octane challenge is brought to you by a three-time Winston Cup champion, and the youngest man to ever win a NASCAR championship. Jeff? Hi, I'm Jeff Gordon. The test for any great driver is how to handle pressure. One of the keys to my success is being able to qualify up front and stay there throughout the whole race. Let's see how you do, rookie. Daytona International Speedway has seen its share of NASCAR history, and today should be no exception as you take the wheel of the number 24 DuPont Chevrolet for a special three-lap shootout. As Jeff said, you've qualified up front. In fact, you've qualified second, starting on the outside pole. To capture the bronze trophy, you'll need to deliver a top five finish. A top three finish will take the silver. A win will give you a trip to the winner's circle and the Beat the Heat gold. The scene is set and the DuPont machine is ready to begin your three-lap race. Good luck. Welcome to the first Beat the Heat challenge in the Speedway set. A set of challenges where you'll have to master a finer balance of acceleration, deceleration, and even braking. For our first challenge, we put you at Dover Downs, the Monster Mile. The goal is to get through turns three and four and across the finish line as quickly as possible. For the bronze, you'll need a time of 17 seconds or better. Topping 16.5 seconds will take the silver, and beating 16.25 seconds will earn you the gold. You're at race speed coming off turn two, and there's nobody else on the track. Good luck. Can you handle the track too tough to tame and conquer the infamous treacherous turn four at Darlington Raceway? What we'll see is you must once again get through turns three and four and across the finish line as quickly as possible in this Beat the Heat Challenge. A bronze medal performance will require a time of 17 seconds or better. You'll need a 16.25 or better to take the silver. And for the gold, you'll need to beat 16 seconds. Your car's just come off turn two and you're at race speed heading into turn three. Good luck. 
It's off to the races as we drop you into the final two laps of the Direct TV 500 at Texas Motor Speedway. You'll start the challenge in 16th place as you cross the stripe going into lap 333. To capture the bronze, you'll need a top 10 finish. The top five will give you the silver. You'll need to take the checkered flag to collect the gold. Your car's at speed with just two laps to go. Good luck. More Beat the Heat racing action awaits you now at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, only this time, the real competition isn't necessarily ahead of you. There are two laps to go in the CarsDirect.com 400. You find yourself in fourth place, gaining on the cars in front of you, but right behind you, it's the intimidator Dale Earnhardt, and he'll do whatever he can to get around you. A third place finish will take the bronze, second gets the silver, and a trip to Victory Lane also brings home the Beat the Heat gold. Just crossed the finish line with two laps to go. Good luck, and remember, keep an eye on that rear view mirror. You're now heading into turn three at Lowe's Motor Speedway on the final lap of the Coca-Cola 600. You're currently in 15th place. Your beat the heat goal of a top 10 finish seems to be out of reach, but you just never know what might happen out on the track. A third place finish will capture the bronze. Finishing second will bring home the silver. And if you manage to get the win, you'll get the beat the heat goal. It's a white knuckle moment as you're at race speed heading down the backstretch towards turn three and suddenly, well, you'll see. Good luck. We're at the end of the Beat the Heat Speedway set and it's time for another high octane challenge. In this challenge, we're going to take a look at how important tires can be. Jeff? I'm Jeff Burton with your next challenge. We're going to show you how fresh tires can make a huge difference. You're in 16th place and you've decided to pit and change tires with only 10 laps to go. The rest opted to stay out under caution. Can you go from worst to first? Let's see what you've got. The Monster Mile Dover Downs International Speedway is a track famous for the demands it makes on drivers, cars, and especially tires. It's the final 10 laps of the MBNA Platinum 400. You're behind the wheel of the number 99 Taurus. The thinking on the XI Batteries team is that new tires will give you enough of an advantage to go from the back of the lead pack all the way to victory lane. So you've ducked into the pits under the caution. You'll need to drive your way up to at least a sixth place finish to capture the bronze trophy. A top three finish will take the silver and you'll need to win to get the beat the heat gold. The green flag's about to fly as the lead pack comes off turn four and charges for the start finish line. Good luck. Welcome to the first Beat the Heat Challenge in the short course set, a set where braking and accelerating are equally important. Our first challenge places you at Martinsville Speedway, where you'll have to make it through turns one and two as fast as possible. You'll need to hit at least 17 seconds flat for the bronze, 16 flat will garner the silver, and a 15.4 or better will take the gold. You'll start at race speed coming off turn four. Good luck. The heat is on in the Granite State as we go to New Hampshire International Speedway for your next Beat the Heat Challenge. You've just completed your first of two qualifying laps for the Jiffy Loop 300, but lap one was not good enough to make Sunday's show. To capture the bronze, you'll need a time of 32 seconds. Topping 31 seconds gets you the silver. A gold trophy performance requires a 30.5 or better. Your car's at speed about to cross the start finish line for your second and final lap. Good luck. This next challenge is a little bit different. It's not so much about you winning as it is helping your teammate win. Here's the scene. There are six laps left in the GoRacing.com 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway. Unfortunately, you're a number of laps down and about to be lapped again as the top three cars are all around you. But your teammate, Bobby Labonte, he's in fourth place and coming on strong. The object here, help Bobby win the race. To beat this challenge and capture the bronze, Bobby needs to finish in the top three. For the silver, he needs to finish second. And for the gold, Bobby needs to win. You'll start with Tony Stewart and Joe Nemechek on either side of you and Jeff Gordon just behind. They're running first, second, and third, respectfully. And Bobby Labonte is in fourth and coming on strong just behind Jeff. Good luck to you and your teammate. It's the final six laps of the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400 at Richmond International Raceway, and you're in 16th place. You've got enough fuel and good enough tires to make it to the end, but many of the cars ahead of you aren't so lucky. To beat the heat, you need to get a top three finish, and you need to stay clear of the chaos of the last-minute pit stops that many of those in front of you are going to make. 
To capture the bronze, you'll need to finish third. Second will give you the silver. A win will bring with it the gold Beat the Heat trophy. Your car's at speed coming down the backstretch with six laps to go. Good luck. It's said that you can't win a championship without mastering short track racing. And this challenge will pitch you against living proof of that. We're at Bristol Motor Speedway, and you're in a five-lap race against three former champions and short track experts. Terry Labonte, Dale Earnhardt, and Rusty Wallace are running one, two, three ahead of you. As you might expect, you'll capture the bronze, silver, or gold for coming in third, second, or first, respectively. The green flag is out as you'll start at speed about to cross the start-finish line in your five-lap dash for the gold. Good luck. We're going to cap off the Beat the Heat short track set with another high-octane challenge. Sometimes winning a Winston Cup race is all about a full-speed dash to the checkered flag, but other times it's all about short-term survival. And to bring you a short track survival challenge are a pair of drivers from one of NASCAR's more famous families. Guys? Hi, I'm Kenny Wallace. And I'm Rusty Wallace. Heck, anybody can compete when your car's running great. Let's see how you do when your car's been tore up on the short track oval at Martinsville. And you got a short track expert like me right on your bumper. Oh, yeah, right, Rusty. Your challenge is to do whatever it takes to hold on to your position. I can do it, can you? No, no, Kenny, I can do it, can you? Oh, you gotta love older brothers. <laughs> sure, Kenny, but age and experience breed wisdom. Oh, and here's something for you. Watch your back and use your mirrors. The situation is this. You're driving Kenny Wallace's number 55 Square D Chevrolet, and you're leading the race with just two laps to go. You're not gonna win this one on speed or handling. The only way to hang on is defensive driving. And you've got some of the top Winston Cup drivers right on your rear bumper, highlighted by your brother Rusty, one of NASCAR's very best short track drivers. To take the bronze trophy, you'll need to hold on for a finish of sixth or better. A top three effort will take the silver. But if you can hold your first place position for the win, you'll grab the Beat the Heat gold. You'll be starting at race speed heading into turn one. Remember, keep an eye on your rear view mirror because you've got some hard charging drivers back there that know they're just two laps away from the win. Good luck. We're heading back to Daytona International Speedway for a little follow the leader drafting exercise. In order to beat this challenge, you'll need to hit a lap time that you can only attain by effective drafting. To capture the bronze, you'll need to better a lap time of 48 seconds flat. Topping 47.5 seconds will give you the silver. A 47 flat or better will give you the gold. Your car's at speed coming off turn four, and you're right behind your teammate and drafting partner, Bobby Labonte. Now, I'll give you a little tip here. You shouldn't try to pass Bobby. You'll get your best lap times by drafting behind him the whole way. Good luck. We've all heard NASCAR described as drive fast, turn left. Well, for this challenge, we're going to prove that cliche wrong. The setting is Watkins Glen International, one of two road courses in Winston Cup racing. We're going to challenge you to handle turn one as quickly as possible. To capture the bronze, you'll need to beat 19 seconds flat. 18.5 or better takes the silver, and 18 seconds flat will capture the gold at the Glen. Your car's at speed heading down the straightaway into turn one. Good luck. Our next Beat the Heat challenge picks up where the last one left off. It's back to Watkins Glen International, only this time you're coming out of turn two and you need to navigate the infamous S-turns as quickly as possible. For the bronze trophy, you'll need a time of 17.5 or better. Silver will require 17 flat. And for the gold, you need a time of 16.5 or better. Remember to keep your car on the track. If you cut across the grass, you'll have to try again. Your car's at speed coming out of turn one. Good luck. If you thought Turn 1 at Watkins Glen was a challenge, wait till you get a hold of Turn 11 at Sears Point, a 180-degree turn just before the start-finish line at the entrance to the pits. You'll need a time of 21 seconds flat or better to get the bronze, 20.3 or better to get the silver. A gold performance demands 20 seconds flat or better. Your car's at speed coming down the stretch to Turn 11. Good luck. Phoenix International Raceway is the location for our next challenge, this time a pit stop challenge. There are 10 laps to go in the Checker Auto Parts Duraloop 500K and you're running in 13th place. It's been a very long green flag run and everyone, including you, will have to pit before the checkered flag flies. Your goal? Determine the best pit strategy in terms of when to go in and what to do in order to get a top six finish. Sixth place will garner the bronze, Top three will be rewarded with the silver. 
and winning the race will also win the gold in Phoenix. We'll be starting at speed, heading down the front stretch. Good luck. It's time for another high octane challenge as you're at the end of the advanced set of Beat the Heat challenges. Over a season of some 34 races covering 21 different tracks and 15,000 miles of racing, delivering a consistent performance is a superhuman effort. And to bring you our next challenge is a man synonymous with consistency, Mark. I'm Mark Martin. The key to being in the championship hunt is consistency. We're going to give you five laps in Las Vegas. Let's see if you can complete each lap within a fraction of a second of each other. Catching a consistent hot streak is a key to success all over Las Vegas, and Las Vegas Motor Speedway is no exception. In this challenge, you'll be taking the wheel of Mark Martin's number six Valvoline Ford for five laps of practice. To capture the bronze in this challenge, you'll need to complete the five laps each in under 35 seconds. A silver performance requires five laps under 34 seconds flat, while a gold trophy effort takes a consistent 33.25 or better for each of the five laps. The Valvoline Taurus is at race speed, heading into turn one. Good luck. In this set of Beat the Heat challenges, we're going to use actual results from six races in the 2000 NASCAR Winston Cup season. We'll take the top finishers from those events and put you on the track with them and see if you're good enough to beat the very best. Always thought things would have been different if you were on the racetrack? Well, here's your chance to prove it. In our first challenge, we'll take the results of the Cracker Barrel 500 at the Atlanta Motor Speedway and give you five laps against the top finishers from that event. You'll be starting in 16th position. To capture the bronze, you'll need to finish eighth or better. A top three takes the silver. And as you might expect, winning the race will bring home the Beat the Heat gold. You'll be starting at speed, crossing the start-finish line for your five-lap race. Good luck. Now we're heading to North Carolina Speedway, the rock for our next Beat the Heat race challenge. You're going to start in 16th place behind the top finishers from the Duraloop Kmart 400 in an eight-lap event. To capture the bronze, you need to finish eighth or better. A top three takes the silver, and as you might expect, winning the race will bring home the Beat the Heat gold. The green flag is about to fly as you head off turn number four for the start of the race. Good luck. The setting for your next Beat the Heat challenge is the Richmond International Raceway and the Pontiac Excitement 400. The scenario is this, you'll be starting on the outside of row number 8 behind the top finishers in the actual event in an 8-lap sprint. As before, 8th or better gets the bronze, 3rd or better the silver, and winning gets the gold. It's 8 to go as the pack comes off turn 4 to take the green flag. Good luck! Short track racing is the next challenge as we go to the high banks of Bristol Motor Speedway. Here's the scene. You're facing the top finishers from the Food City 500 in a 10-lap event, and you're once again starting in 16th position. Eighth or better for the bronze, top three for silver, and a win gets the gold. You're starting at speed as the green flag flies at Bristol. Good luck. Our next Beat the Heat challenge takes us to Northern California, Sonoma, and the demanding road course of Sears Point Raceway. It's a two-lap race based on the results from the Save Mart Cragen 350. As I'm sure you can imagine, eighth or better takes the bronze, top three takes silver, and winning gets the gold. Your two laps through the scenic wine country of Northern California are about to begin. Good luck. For our final Beat the Heat challenge, we could offer nothing less than the biggest race of the year. It's time for you to take on the Daytona 500. Once again, you start in 16th place, facing a five-lap dash for the Beat the Heat gold in the Great American Race. As has been the case through this set, you'll need eighth or better to take the bronze, third or better for the silver, and winning the Daytona 500 also wins the Beat the Heat gold. NASCAR's biggest race of the year is about to get underway as the pack comes off turn four and heads for the Tri-Oval. Good luck. This High Octane Challenge is brought to you by the 1999 Rookie of the Year. Tony? Hi, I'm Tony Stewart. Something like this really happened to me. Five laps to go at Loudoun, and we're all running on fumes. You're in fifth place, so on what lap do you head in? This is where the fun begins. Do you drive conservatively and stay on the track, or do you pit and let it all hang out? There's your challenge. Let's rock. At the Jiffy Loop 300 in 1999, Tony Stewart had the lead with two laps to go, but his fuel tank ran dry on the final lap and he had to coast to a 10th place finish. Now you have the chance to change history, but with a new twist.
Here's the scene. It's the final five laps, and you're in Tony Stewart's number 20 Home Depot Pontiac. You're in fifth place, and your fuel is dangerously low. You can go flat out, you can try to conserve fuel and drive defensively, or you can even pit for a splash and go. All the options are open for you to take the lead and try to win the race. For the bronze, you need to hang on for the top 10. The top five will give you the silver, but to get the gold, you need to win the race. The scene is set on the Home Depot machine is crossing the start-finish line with five laps to go. Good luck. Bringing you our next high-octane challenge is the driver of the number 22 Caterpillar Pontiac, who had a career-best points finish in 1999. Ward? I'm Ward Burton. You're in the lead with three laps to go, but your tires are worn to a thread. The cars on your tail all have fresh tires. This is where you got to use your head to stay ahead. Don't blow your tires or you'll blow your lead. The setting for this challenge is Darlington Raceway, a track notorious for chewing up tires. As Ward said, it's the final three laps, you've got the lead. But unfortunately, you've got an old set of rubber on the 22 car and she's just not handling as well as the cars coming up from behind. Beating this challenge is a combination of not blowing a tire while still finishing as well as possible. A top 10 finish takes the bronze. Top 5 is good enough for the silver. Taking the gold requires taking the checkered flag for the win. Keep an eye on that rear view mirror to fight off the guys behind you and make sure you don't blow a tire or you'll have to try again. Good luck! Our next Beat the Heat challenge is brought to you by a man who's finished in the top 3 every year since 1996, all culminating with the Winston Cup Championship in 1999. Dale? Hi, I'm Dale Jarrett. In 1999, I had the chance to clinch the championship just by coming in eighth or better at Homestead. But a real champion doesn't just lay back and do just enough, a real champion goes for it. So I'm going to put you in my shoes heading into Homestead, but I won't make you run 400 miles. You've got a 10 lap race for all the marbles. You're going to start 20th. To get the bronze and clinch the championship, you need to make it to eighth or better. But if you want to show what a champion is made of, don't hang back. Go for the gold and win the race. See you in the winner's circle. Now you get to take the wheel of the number 88 Ford Quality Care Taurus at the very track where Dale clinched the championship, Homestead Miami Speedway. To capture the bronze, you'll need to finish eighth or better. Fourth or better is good enough for the silver. But to get the gold, you need to win the race. The pace car has just pulled off the track. It's time for your 10-lap race for the championship. Good luck. The man behind our next Beat the Heat challenge was part of the design team for NASCAR Heat, as well as our chief technical advisor. Oh, and he's also a pretty good Winston Cup race driver, too. Bobby? Hi, I'm Bobby Labonte. Whether you start the front of the pack or the back, in order to win, you need to be able to pass. Sometimes you're just pushing to catch leaders, and sometimes you've got to get around some slower lap cars in order to get to the front. So here's a challenge based on what happened to me at Lowe's Motor Speedway in 1999. You've got five laps to go, and you're in the lead. That's the good news. The bad news is that you've got two lap cars ahead of you and the leaders catching up fast. To beat the challenge, you need to get around the lap cars and at the same time, make sure the guys behind you stay there. Let's see how you do. Once again, this Beat the Heat challenge gives you the chance to relive and change history. Here's the scene. You're behind the wheel of Bobby Labonte's number 18 Interstate Batteries Pontiac with five laps left in the race. To beat the challenge, you need to get around the two lap cars ahead of you and finish in the top three. A third place finish takes the bronze, second the silver, and winning captures the gold. You start the race at speed heading into turn one with five laps to go. Remember, keep an eye on your rear view mirror. Try to conserve your tires as you fight to get around the lap traffic. Good luck. We have a two-time Winston Cup champion bringing you the next Beat the Heat challenge. And just for fun, he's brought along another member of his family, Terry. I'm Terry Labonte. There's nothing like winning at home like I did at Texas in 99. And to top things off, my brother Bobby came in third. Yeah, but I was nursing a broken shoulder. So the Labonte brothers have cooked up a little Texas Heat Challenge for you. It's a special 10-lap race at Texas Motor Speedway. You're in my car and you'll start in 20th place. And to make things interesting, I'll start right behind you in 21st. And this time, no broken shoulder. So let's see if you can beat the Heat, Texas style. The Labonte brothers have set up a 10-lap race at Texas. You'll take the wheel of Terry's number 5 Kellogg Chevrolet starting in 20th position with brother Bobby starting the number 18 Interstate Batteries Pontiac in 21st. To take the bronze, you need a top 10 finish. Top 5 will capture the silver. 
But if you make it to Victory Lane like Terry did in 99, you'll bring home the gold. The pace car is just coming onto pit lane as the green flag flies on your 10-lap race at Texas Motor Speedway. Good luck. Congratulations, you've made it to the final Beat the Heat Challenge. NASCAR has had its share of family teams, sometimes brothers, sometimes father and son. But with all that history, probably the most talked about and most anticipated are the father-son combination bringing you this Beat the Heat Challenge. A couple of guys named Dale. Now here's your chance to compete mano a mano against Dale Earnhardt Jr. Or Dale Earnhardt. You know, one of the most exciting races of my life is the 1999 IROC race at Michigan. I was duking it out here with my old man. Your dad. And we all remember who won that race now, don't we? Well, Dad, there's always another race and another day. Yeah, and today's the day. May the best Earnhardt win. Junior. This Earnhardt. No, Junior. this Earnhardt. Come on, man, it's my turn. This Earnhardt. Michigan Speedway was the site of the third race of the 1999 IROC season, and the place where all the hype became reality in one of the most fantastic finishes of the year. The Earnhardts are going to let you relive that moment with the final seven laps of Winston Cup competition in Michigan in the Kmart 400. And there are 14 other drivers that want a piece of this action, too. You'll take the wheel of Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s number 8 Chevrolet. You and Dale Earnhardt have pitted at lap 194. The rest of the field has stayed out on old tires. The challenge starts with you chasing the number 3 Goodrench Chevrolet out of the pits. A top 3 finish grabs the bronze, top 2 the silver, and to get the gold, you'll need to win the race. Now don't be fooled, just because he's your father doesn't mean that Dale Earnhardt's going to give up being the intimidator. And just in case you need a little more enticement to heat up this challenge, Beat it and you'll unlock your first hidden challenge. Good luck, you're going to need it. Getting to this Beat the Heat challenge is a tremendous feat that deserves a legendary reward. It's my pleasure to bring you two living legends of NASCAR. Well, Dale, after retiring with seven championships, there's only one other thing I wanted to do. What's that, Rich? Win an eighth. Well, Richard, I'm not retired and I can actually win my eighth. You really think you can win your eighth, Dale? Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we have our own little deal right now? How's that? Let's use this little NASCAR heat game and run one more race, just the two of us, for all the marbles. Okay, Dale, I'm in. Winner gets all. Bring it on, Rich. The King and the Intimidator one-on-one -on -one to settle what is probably the biggest argument in NASCAR, Petty versus Earnhardt, who's the ultimate champ? A battle of legendary champions must take place on a legendary speedway, Daytona International Speedway track where both of these drivers have experienced momentous success. Richard Petty ran off seven Daytona 500 victories over his career, while Dale Earnhardt has won more races at Daytona than any other driver in NASCAR history. A historic setting for a historic event. You'll take the wheel behind the 2000 edition of Richard Petty's famous number 43 machine in a 10-lap duel. Just the two of you on the track. And in a clash of titans such as this, there can be no second place. This is a winner-take-all race for the Beat the Heat Gold, with the victor claiming rights to the elusive 8th NASCAR Championship. Wow, that was fun. There's nothing like getting out on the track and going for the gold. Well, I'll tell you what then, Richard. Let's do this little Beat the Heat deal one more time. Only this time, you'll be driving my car. Let's do it, Dale. You're on. Welcome to the Beat the Heat section of NASCAR Heat. We've gone out and worked with some of the top names in NASCAR to design a series of 36 challenges for you, and perhaps even a few surprises after that. As you progress through, each of the challenges will push you a little harder. Along the way, you'll face everything from hot laps around Daytona to the heavy traffic and high banks of Bristol, and even a few recreations of actual events brought to you by many of the top drivers in the Winston Cup Series in our high-octane challenges. Prior to each challenge, I'll be here to set up the scenario for you. Then you'll take the wheel and try to beat the heat. If you pass the challenge, you'll get a bronze, silver, or gold trophy, and the next challenge will be unlocked. Once you've gotten at least a bronze in a challenge, it'll remain unlocked, so you can always go back and try again to get the gold. So let's see if you're up to the challenge in your quest for Beat the Heat Gold. Hi, I'm Alan Bestwood. Get ready to strap in. It's time for NASCAR Heat. <laughs> how's that? How's that? Say how's that? I missed that. <laughs> And you know what? I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> a 
Keen here can do it better. You're killing me. Good enough. Let's go home. Welcome to the Race the Pro section of NASCAR Heat. Some of the biggest names in Winston Cup racing have played NASCAR Heat, and we've recorded their best laps. We'll reproduce those for you and put you out on the same track so you can learn from the pro, and maybe even catch them. You'll see their car as a semi-transparent image. Every time you cross the start-finish line, the game will restart their best lap. So whether you want to pick up a few tips by watching how the pros drive this game, or if you want to see if you're better than they are, Race the Pro is the place to do it.